Thanks, Carolyn. To begin, I have a musical introduction. There has been both national and international action to see the closure of the Adani mine in the Galilee Basin before it is fully established, and that action continues. Ruth Mundy added her musical voice to that action a few years ago. Mundy is musically aligned with the young activists who joined in the global climate strike last year and those others who came beforehand. She has joined the movement to fight for climate justice, as John Bradley expressed it last year. She speaks to the need to understand why environmental destruction happens, how our current world came to be. The ambition of her music is to change the world and to offer that ambition to her audience. That ambition was also the motivating factor for the creation of Green Music Australia. As this photo indicates, Mundy is only one of many musicians who support the work of Green Music Australia. In this presentation, I will provide a brief introduction to Green Music Australia, here on referred to as GMA, and then concentrate on some of the musicians who support GMA. Established in 23 2013, sorry, GMA is a not-for-profit organisation and registered charity attempting to harness, quote, the cultural power of music and musicians to lead the way to a greener world. GMA was actively campaigning during the 20 2019 Australian federal election when it and its musician and music industry supporters declared there is no music on a dead planet. A reply to scientists and others calls for an emergency response. Given, however, that the pro-consumerist nature of much mainstream music cancels out any message of change, suggests Tim Hollow, it could be asked whether the music industry is an appropriate site for climate change activism at all. I suggest it is. GMA recognises that musicians have played a vital role in helping to drive social change over many decades. Its founder, Tim Hollow, with the support of Dr Matthew Rimmer from the ANU College of Law, investigated the role of the creative industries in climate change action through a deep literature review and a series of interviews. The study, Key Change, considered the interaction between law, politics, culture, society and art. Hollow notes that arts and artists of all kinds as cultural practitioners have been, quote, closely entwined with social change and social control, in large part because they help shape our understanding of the world, framing ideas, prefiguring change, and opening hearts and minds to new ways of thinking. Further, he argues, they have played a major role in campaigns for law reform on many issues, and climate change should be no exception. Climate change he recognised, was coming to be seen more and more as a cultural issue rather than purely a scientific or technical one. As Aaron Allen had earlier argued, 
environmental crises are a failure of culture and the communicative and emotional powers associated with music are potent tools to help understand and address the current problems and associated challenges to a better future. So let's listen to Four Play String Quartet perform their environmental anthem, This Machine. Kim Hollow is the quartet's violinist and backup vocalist. GMA acknowledges the power of music for political and cultural change, but the organisation's intent is not to support musicians in their creative practice nor to promote specific climate-related songs. As you will see, the musicians do that on their own initiative. GMA's primary intent is to bring about political and cultural change within the music industry through various campaigns, including and beyond the Adani Mine. I suggest you explore their website. When Tim Hollow stood down from CEO role in 2018 to embark on his political ambitions, musicians Berish, Berish Belanda and Emma Bosworth took over. Other musicians have joined its board, including Katie Noonan. Not on the board, but a strong supporter, is Missy Higgins, whose music on her album Torchlight was inspired by marriage, motherhood, and by reading climate apocalyptic literature. In 2017, Higgins became an official ambassador for the GMA Stop Adani campaign, saying, this coal mine is so big, it will tip our climate into environmental devastation. How can anyone with a conscience think it is okay for our children to inherit that. In the same year, she also committed to divest from her ANZ credit cards if they continued funding fossil fuels. Let's listen to her music. Your father was always a rational kind He followed the news, he read all the signs There's no room for more, no room to expand Would you really give birth to dry sinking sand? The world is alone, we barely breathe through Why make a new life to pass it on to? So I search for a way to keep you a dream One that lived in my heart and would never be seen But you, my son, you broke through it all Every reason he started the war You, my life, my hope at the end You, my son Rob Hurst, drummer and songwriter with Midnight Oil, 
has been involved in GMA campaigns for some time. In 2017, GMA collaborated with 350 Australia, Hearst and Ash Grunwell to brief other musicians interested in supporting campaigns to prevent the biggest coal mine in Australia from being built. Midnight Oil have long been producing political music, including environmental issues with its hits such as Blue Sky Mind and Beds Are Burning. More songs have been written subsequently, including Tarkeen and Antarctica. The lyrics in Antarctica articulate the pressing issue of climate change on that continent. Hearst also teamed up with country duo O'Shea on The Truth Walk Slowly. Hearst wrote the song to support farmers against the takeover of their farms by coal seam gas mining. It expresses the experience of one farmer, an experience shared by many. I'll play both of these now. And O'Shea. Similarly to Higgins, Hearst, Grunwald and other musicians joined the divestment campaign. They also added their voices to GMA's climate change declaration during the last federal ele election. So it's time to listen to Ash Grunwald with P River, a song inspired by the words 
of David Suzuki. In conclusion, musicians are using their voice and creativity to accelerate and inspire public will for change. As I've discuss pre discussed previously, they are joining the collective provocation to shift values. They musically articulate not only a mourning for the damages wrought, but engage with current issues critically through lyrical expression and transformative action. Lament, healing, poetic prayer, petition and protest can be found in their music. As artists, they are aware that while there may be no music on a dead planet, they can make sure there is amplification and expansion to the, in the soundtrack to our currently hurting planet. And to conclude on a musical note, let's listen to Paul Kelly, one of GMA's BYO Bottle Ambassadors, with a song he released earlier this year. Thank you. Australia sleep The night is on the creek Shut out the noise all around Sleep Australia sleep And dream of counting sheep Jumping in fields colored brown Who rock the cradle and cry Australia sleep as off the cliff the kingdoms leap. Count them as they say goodbye. Count down the little things, the insects and birds. Count down the bigger things, the flocks and the herds. Count down our rivers, our pastures and trees. But there's no need to hurry Oh, sleep now, don't worry Cause it's only a matter of degrees Fog, Australia fog Just like the boiling frog As we go, we won't feel a thing 